This is a Rubik's Cube in a spreadsheet built using VBA. The cube is here and the faces that you can't see are reflected on these three planes. To rotate a face, simply click the cubie where you would push it in real life. So for example, to rotate the front face, I would push it here. Or for the upper face, I could click here and back again. You can also rotate the middle layers by clicking in the relevant place. Or you can rotate the whole cube by clicking on the center pieces. All of your moves are tracked so you can see your most recent moves. This large one is the last move you made, and then you can see the five that came before that. And it's quite clever in the way that it records these moves. So if I rotate the front face once, it shows an F. If I rotate it a second time, it shows two F. But if I rotate it a third time, it recognizes that that is the same as one move in the opposite direction. And it reflects that in the history. Also, if I reverse my move, it will simply cancel it out. And it won't record the move at all. If you make a mistake, you can click undo and that will reverse your move and remove it from the history. To scramble the cube, simply click scramble. And if you need to reset the cube, click reset. And clicking either of these buttons will also clear your move history. On the right hand side here, you can enter an algorithm to run multiple moves all at once. To enter an algorithm, you simply type the moves separated by a comma into this box. And when you're ready, you click run algorithm and that automatically runs all those moves. You can save this algorithm by clicking one of the save boxes here and that will save it into the corresponding slot above. So I will save this algorithm in slot one and I can now click the name of the algorithm to run it. And I can run it as many times as I like and it will automatically apply the moves to the cube. The moves from the algorithm are stored in the history so you can undo them one by one if needs be. All that's left is to show you a solve. Um, this is a recording of a full solve but it is sped up by four. Now if you'd like a copy of this spreadsheet feel free to drop me an email uh, my email will be in the video description and I can send you a copy. I've slowed it down a bit at the end here to demonstrate how I've used some saved algorithms to solve that final layer. Um, they're quite long algorithms, so rather than uh, clicking them out, I decided to just save the algorithm and click through those to solve the layer. 